Okay, it's six o'clock. We'll call to order with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick housekeeping note before we even start. Because there's Zoom and people are listening on, if people could not talk in the audience, that would be greatly appreciated so everybody can hear and understand what's going on. So moving right along, review and approve the agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Minutes of June 28, 2021. Make a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Minutes of the 28th, it's a special meeting minute. Move to approve the minutes as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Carries. Meeting minutes of July 6th. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, motion carries. <coughs> Next is the traffic and parking public meeting. So there is well, one page of adjustments to our parking ordinance and it's open for discussion. Does anyone need a copy of it? Um, it hasn't changed from what's on the town website. You have copies? Yeah. We're overwhelmed with copies. It's okay, Stan, we got it. We got it, Stan. Give a few minutes for people to review a bit. Those are the only changes to the ordinance. Like I said, there are no changes from what is on the website, correct? I don't know that either. I, I, are you talking about in meeting minutes? Like what we- Oh, no, there, there's the warning ordinance. hearing. Yes. Has oh, okay. Yes. There's no changes to that. Correct. Okay. I was just wondering if you could go over May again. Just to okay, so to my understanding, there there was parking on yours, but you're we're going to ask you to have your um, customers, parents go in on. It's not pine, right? It's uh, yeah, pine and come around that way, so you're facing the right direction, please. Yeah and leaving that way instead of coming up this way and going in. Yeah. Just to ask them to come around that way. That will relieve some of the traffic issue that's there. I think we have enough that. Okay, go ahead. So I'm just curious as to what is the reasoning behind it. Like why do we need to have a parking ordinance between our high street and school street? Because a lot of us who live in that area don't see a problem. It's a problem a cer at certain parts of the day when the school, mostly it's in the afternoon when the school is released. Who's, do you know who's having problems? Like, do we talk to all the neighbors in that area? It's not just people who live there. It's people who are trying to drive there and the children crossing. There are other things. And I've also spoken with the school about perhaps staggering and continue to staggering their dismissal. Um, I'm still talking to Christy about trying to come up with better solutions for that. The uh, fire chief said that he couldn't get a fire truck up there at one school would be put out or an ambulance. But, but once again, I mean, my complaint is why are you involving High Street? We all live on High Street. I've talked to all of the neighbors on High Street. Nobody has an issue with it. There is no parking issue on High Street. And furthermore, if you're just talking about a few minutes a day during the school year, why is it 24-7, 365 days a year? 
that you are prohibiting us from parking in front of our houses. I, I don't understand that. So there are more than just your neighbors that it impacts. It impacts everybody who travels that. And if it were a time period, how would we regulate that? Well, That's you have a sign up there, well, wait, no, you have a sign up there right now that says no left turns between 7.30 or whatever, 3.30, up at the top of, um, in, into the entrance of the school. You have times there. I mean, there, you can put times on any side. You can say no parking between 2.30 and 3.30 school days. Um, to ban parking, totally, to me, is it, just an infringement on our rights to have access to our property and to have parking. I mean, you know, when, when my daughter comes and we have a couple of people in our driveway with her two kids, she has to park guard near a block away and lug all her stuff in, her kids and whatnot, and, and to get to our house. I mean, that's not fair. And, and I guess I just don't understand the rationale of the total parking ban on high street. I don't know as it says the entire high street. Well, no, it says, well, our, our section of high street, from Church Street to School Street and 200 feet beyond. Uh, I, I, I don't understand it. There is no parking issue on high street. Nobody parks on high street to access the school. My business is similar. It's in the morning. Usually, like, like not very else. often, like, yeah, like you said, family, family member, like, but mm -hmm. not like a party or anything. And occasionally, if there's parents dropping off, then we need a car to park. So that parents can get in and out with their babies. Like, in general, all day, there isn't any. Right. My worry is we don't have a problem. If we do this, we may be introducing a problem. Like we don't know what the effect is going to be of this. I mean, if it really is a problem for some people apply to school, as Nick said, you know, maybe we just limit it during the times when kids are coming and going and say, no, you know, you can't park at that particular time. That would make more sense versus a universal ban. But you might get a few ban on parking at some point. Stop there, you might get people trying to go around each other and then circle the block while kids are trying to walk. Like they, they'll, they'll, yeah, there'll be something, they'll be like you'll introduce something else, I'm sure. I mean, that's what's going to happen is that you're just going to introduce a bunch of cars that are circling the block and, and then you are going to have trouble with kids parking. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. 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 Yeah, that's what's going I mean, they're inching along. They're not parking. No, they're parking. No, they're only by high street. They're not. They're parking because you. Yeah. High street. Yeah. Okay, wait, one at a time. <laughs> there are, they, my concern is high street. Yeah. They are not parking on high street. Um, and, and it would make no sense to even park on the west side of high street because that's facing the wrong way. So they're not going to do that. If, 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 if you have a problem with kids crossing, the school can have crossing guards. A lot of schools have crossing guards, that, that, and they take care of their own problems. I mean, you're, you're taking a problem that's essentially the school. No, that is a town problem. I'm sorry. I'm not going to have yeah. you say it's a school problem. That's a town problem. Well, but it, it, they are town residents. Accessing the school. The school can hire crossing guards. Um, you know, they can stagger, like you say, the pickup times, however, and you can put specific times on the signs as to when you're going to regulate parking. The residents on High Street don't have a problem, and I just want when the school is dismissing, the cars that are on High Street are waiting for their kids to walk down to the school. They're not, they're like, the, I, the I do know that. Are, they're not, that's not actually parked. They're there for like 10 minutes waiting for a child. What do you guys have to say? Well, I just, I'm questioning, wasn't this brought before the planning committee? It was. 
And so I guess I'm wondering why those things weren't hammered out there and then brought we to were. us. But we, were. we, we, we didn't get those changes. I mean, we got changes. Tom, Tom was, was going to bring you the changes. Oh, he did. Right. But I, 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 well, what, we, what the planning commission agreed on was 200 feet either side of School Street during school hours. That's what the planning commission agreed on. And to me, that's reasonable. You know, if, if you do, two, like you're only going 200 feet north on High Street, that's reasonable. You can come 200 feet south on High Street from School Street. But during school hours or during it when it's a problem, and basically at that time, there'll only be parking along the guardrail anyway, which isn't going to you know, interfere with anybody. Um, so I mean, that, that's what the planning commission needs so you're thinking more like coming down School Street, you come down School Street either way, either direction on high, 200 feet out is where they- Well, from either direction, north and south. From right, Street. okay. Um, but, but limited to, I mean, I don't understand the total parking ban, first of all. I mean, that makes no sense. You know, why would we have a parking ban during the summer? No sense whatsoever. I mean, we have neighbors that, you know, they have lawn service. They come with their big trucks and their trailers. They got a park in um, you know, at this point, it would be illegal for the oil company to come and fill up my oil tank because he's going to be parking, getting out of his vehicle. Is that, is, is that an overzealous sheriff's deputy going to give him a ticket? Um, There's a difference between parking and sitting if you read the ordinance. It so is the fine. On High Street, well, there, first of all, there is no definition of parking, standing, whatever. For High Street and for this, it says, no parking. When you talk about the sidewalks and park street, you say no standing, no idling, or whatever. This is no parking. Okay? So when a truck pulls up in front of my house, stops his motor, gets out, and does his delivery, he is parked. And an overzealous policeman could give him a ticket. So here, here, here's what Judy is getting at, though. This was sent to the planning commission. The planning commission didn't want to touch it. It got sent back to the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It got sent back to us. We did it. Then it got sent to the planning commission again, and then you touched it. Right. So I think that's her question. Why, in the first place, did because, you not make the changes? Because the planning because I came in in February of twenty to complain, and you rescinded it. At that time. You said you were going back to the drawing board and that you would consult with the planning commission, which you did, and we gave you our response. And so that was the order of things. We were never invited to discuss this prior to February of 20. Yes, you were. The planning, you show me anywhere in the minutes or anywhere that you contacted me prior to you adopting the first ordinance. We were not contacted. Regardless, that ordinance, that ordinance was rescinded. The Planning Commission discussed it. We gave you our thoughts on it. And this is what we're discussing tonight. I, 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 we don't want to fight over this, okay? I'm not fighting yes, now. you are, Dick. Yes, you are. You know, you okay. Um, but let's hear your opinions. And, and I'm giving you my opinion, Tom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, and, but I let's, mean, let's do it nicely. You know, perhaps Tom didn't express it well enough as a representative to the planning commission. It, it should have come back in paper form. It was in the minutes. I guess my question is, and I don't know if it's a question. Um, I feel like initially when we, we did this and then people were concerned about what was said in it, we put it on hold, we tried to rewrite it and redo it. So I guess, and I don't want to be like the bad seed here, but um, I feel like the reason we did this is to listen to what you had to say and to fix it. And I don't feel like right now, like we fixed it. No. So I feel like we're back to square one where we were oh, last I'll, February. I'll tell you what, you know how you fix it? Just remove all references to our part of high school. From what point on? From, from school, from uh, church street to school street. That doesn't resolve the Problem. Well, then go 200 feet north. Or, or just do it during school hours. I mean, we understand that if there's a school issue and there's a safety issue, that's fine. But there is no safety issue except between a quarter to three and 315 
school days. So 80% 80, 80 of the year, 90, 95% of the year, there is no issue. But now you're taking away our parking 100% of the time. And to me, that makes absolutely no sense. And it makes no sense on my side of the street. I'm on the dead end part, nowhere near the school. There's literally no traffic. But we've heard complaints about your side of the street. So that's why we're asking you to come around the other way. That's our resolve to that. Which we're not here to discuss that. That's why we're doing it to go around. So all your cars are parking the way it should be. And that, that's why we decided on that part of High Street. I just think it's ridiculous to have a whole street parking. It's not the whole street. So what else would you guys like to? Um, well, I think it needs to be clarified too. Like you said, there's no difference between parking and um, I don't understand it. And I think we interpret it as there is a difference. Like parking was, you, you park a car and it's there all day long. Whereas if UPS pulls up, they can do that. That, that they're not banned from doing that. But then that needs to be defined. And your ordinance does not define parking, does not define standing, does not define high. Right, and I thought it did at one point. But I, but I will say the Vermont statute does define that. And that's what controls us. Right. Is that standing is, is a different thing than parking. So if you're stopping for a delivery or if you're stopping for something like that, that is standing. That is different. Yeah. Okay. So what would you be about family members? So I guess my my question is, is that what would this be resolved or remedied if we just said, you know, there is parking on one side of the street? Other than winter parking, which is again well, winter parking ban is fine. No right, problem. right. Because I'm sure there's not going to be 50 cars up and down High Street on any no. given day parked there. Um, so I guess I mean personally, I'm fine with it because I mean I grew up here. We parked on the streets all the time. Um, so I'm fine with you know having regulations on School Street definitely. Um, and I, my concern is just like over that knoll, you know, like too many cars parked, you know. Well, nobody parks there. Up. Right. Nobody parks there. It's more down in the yeah. intersection, kind of. Yeah. I mean, you're, you know, even in the dark, you have a huge spotlight right there anyway. It's right. Like, it's very visible. I mean, that's my, that's just my input for what it's worth. And, and, and just limiting it during school hours, right? Thank you for raising me. I'm I'm moving down. Not, not from around here. Uh, and, and maybe as sort of still an outsider in the community, I have to say that, that looking at this, it seems like a, a classic example of swatting fly on the switch. The Dickens has, has put forth a couple of really reasonable, targeted proposals that should absolutely solve this problem, they would help bring a, just a tremendous burden on a lot of people who just want to get on with their lives. And, uh, and, and I have to say, looking at these ordinances as written right now, it would not affect me. Okay? I'm just a little lying. But still, just looking at it from a, from a, a neighborhood perspective, it seems like this goes way, way beyond what we just have. Uh, and if one clarified the, the ordinance uh, in, in the manner that Dick suggests, there wouldn't be a need for more definitions of parking and standing and idling and all that sort of stuff. Just nobody's on the curb or at the curb between this time and that time on certain days. I mean, why, why can't we just agree on, on doing something really simple like because it's not as simple as that it, it, it isn't because then you have this section of town you can't this section of town you can it's not as clear to the sheriff which is already <laughs> it's a lot i mean how many people have gotten a ticket for parking in this town zero so 
What's your okay? So one at a time. Let me just respond. There are towns smaller than this that have no parking areas in part of the town that have no parking areas in other parts of the town. Uh, it, it's not a difficult thing to do. Right? A few signs, as Dick says, with the with the time and, and uh, just no parking this time. That should solve the problem okay? without ruffling anybody's feathers or making life more difficult for anybody that's, that's already here. And it seems like that an opportunity to really just make a, a targeted difference rather than painting with a, a broad brush. Could you live with school days, 180 days a year? I could live with school days during the hours when it's an issue. Yeah. Well, what about just school days? Yeah, that would give you holidays, weekends. That, that would certainly be better. Yeah. But, but I don't want, and also, I mean, I don't want the community cluttered with no parking signs. I mean, quite frankly, the only time people park on High Street to any extent are town wide yard sales, which is a Proctor Town event. And when the Union Church does one of their big bazaars, that's the only time that there is extensive parking on High Street. And those are community events. And we to drive up there and look for a parking space and see no parking signs, to me, is not a welcoming thing to the town of Proctor. I think that the residents, most of the residents on High Street are telling me they don't want it. I mean, I've spoken to every resident okay. on our so, high street, and none of them are agreeable. We're, we're just kind of repeating now. Yeah, so what's your, what would you guys like to do? You know, we're told rainy days are, are a big issue. It does wind up on high street. Uh, I think it's school street. Oh, sorry. School street is every day. Okay. Every high day. Rainy days, they say it backs up. You know, because a lot of mothers come up. I don't, I don't whoa, 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 whoa. No, time out. One at a time, you have to. Please go ahead. Has the sheriff been called about this issue? Has he, he's given a written report to this board about the issue. Members or residents that live on High Street have called in complaint and filed a report. So the sheriff knows our issues. The sheriff's only thing is they're according to the parking ordinance there's there's nothing that they're going to do um and i'm really okay i think it's just a safety aspect on that street and and, and that's why there are other streets it's not just high street that there's no parking on uh, and, and so you know and that's that's the number one thing the aspect of can a fire truck get through there so as you're, you know, you're having your company, that's great and fine, but can a fire truck get through to your neighbor? Yes. Can, yes. can, yes. And, 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 and it is a safety issue at school time, which we are working with school and I absolutely refuse to look at it as school and town because every kid that goes to that school, their parents live in this town and they pay taxes. So this is not a school town problem. This is a mutual problem. And I just, I want to make sure that we're looking at it like that. It is, it is high time that it's not that. Just because the school has changed the way the district doesn't mean that it's still not our responsibility. And it's still not our kids and our, you know, taxpayers using that. So, you know, we're still working with school on that. You know, I do have conversations with Christy on that and i guess it's just up to the board how they want to proceed with this section yes. i mean i think it's really okay too i like the one side um because that seems to be an issue too like a lot of times the cars parked on this side of the road facing that way and, and that's and the kids are crossing here doors are opening there's people at this sign people come in here so i do like that suggestion that school up and parking all one way, which would alleviate 
if you want anybody to come over, they, they can park as long as they're parking on that side. Which would be the west side, I was Yes. The parents do a pretty good job of staying over on the parking lot on the high street. I understand side. that. Very still on the street side. And the fire truck absolutely. It, it's not just the fire truck. Around, go around the whole line and go down the other way. They do, the school has been very good about making sure. It's not just that. It's the it's it's the congestion at that time and the people park this way on the wrong side of the street and the kids coming across and people coming this way and people coming this way. This is a really kind of a dangerous intersection, in my opinion. Well, then the sheriffs need to deal with that. And I didn't know there was a high street resident that had called and said it was. It's more than just a high street resident. So it's both. It's not just a high street resident. So what would you guys like to do? What do you think? I think that 200 feet concept probably would work. If we put up a sign at 200 feet each way, the sheriff would be able to tell. And I, and I, I would request that you just would just do it on school days. Uh, I mean, there, there's a handicapped woman that recently bought house house. I don't know what her needs are in and out of that. Uh, you know, and, I think I do. ambulances and fire trucks. I mean, we've had a number of ambulances. We're an older neighborhood. We've had a number of ambulances up there. And they've never had trouble getting through high school. Okay, back to this. So here's the my little issue with during school days. Um you so what's the sheriff going to call up the school? Hey, is there school today? You say Monday through Friday, right? Is that, but that's, but school, right. it's not during the summer. So right. in the summer, so see what I'm okay. saying? You're okay. Wait, 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 wait. You have signs and put the dates, just like it says 7.30 to 3.30. It can say September 1st through, you know, June 15th or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, but I mean, you have, you have to. Yeah, no. When, just, just say when school is in session between 7 30 three o'clock well i'm no saying parking. how do you know if school's in session well most people well, would so assume frankly, if the sheriffs don't know when the school is in session they are not doing their job that's the, that's such a stuff totally other well, subject you know, and i have gone to the sheriff's logs for the past several months at the end of the school year and whatnot there has not been one call that the sheriffs responded to for a traffic issue all right, so back to this is what we're saying. I, I'm not going to keep rehashing this. He, it, it, it is 630 now. We spent a half an hour hashing this out. So let's talk about what it is we're going to do so we can move on with this. Well, as long as there's nothing else wrong with the ordinance that anybody sees or not to, do you have a question about the uh, anything? This gentleman, a lot of people feel really strongly about they really appreciate the rights they have right now to be able to park. It seems like some type of agreement, even if we have to make a special sign for a time, could be in order to make. And they would probably be really happy. <laughs> I'm out of here feeling a lot better about everything. Okay. So, so I say we amend the ordinance to go back to the um, suggestion from the planning commission for the 200 feet out and that parking is allowed other than during school hours. And, and I would go a step further to make it as easy as possible from during school hours from August 20th until June 15th. I agree. Okay. It, I think it needs to be clear. Yeah. Because again, anyway. I mean, the sheriff was asking at one point for GPS coordinates for right. for speed limits. So let's be crystal clear as to okay. what the dates are, right. and that'll be pretty close. Yeah. And, and it's certainly possible for the school to send announcements to the parents that say, "Agree." This is a and, new policy for and and we're we're working on it with the school, and this, the school is not going to get overly involved in the parking ordinance. Um, 
they're just going to try to move the traffic from what I understand, try to help the town in not having that bottleneck there or in not having it. There's, there's another issue up there too. And no, that's the, that's what we're, we're not making a sign of this big of exceptions. It's just going to say this. Correct. Correct. During that time for 200 feet. Correct. They would have to park somewhere else during that time. I mean, if you go to reiterate, you're talking about 200 feet south, 200 Correct. feet north, school days. Correct. I can agree to that. From, from September 1st to June 15th. Whatever. From, so it's from the west side of School Street. So. No, no. Yes. So, so it's from School Street, from the bottom. 200 feet north and 200 feet south. Yes. If you would put a sign up that would basically say no parking from here to the corner school days. Fine. During, from 7.30 to 3.30. Fine. Okay. You got all that? No. <laughs> all right. But just so, let me just clarify too, as yeah. far as like the deliveries <laughs> and stuff like that, they can, we're not going to make a UPS guy park, you know, three miles down the road to deliver a package. When I don't think the oil company on the road is quite that long. Right. <laughs> so they can park there. And the sheriff not parked. And the sheriff has already said that. They're not going to hand out tickets for delivery drivers. And, and again, the last time that I looked at Vermont statutes, Okay. Standing is very different. Standing is when a delivery truck stops. Correct. Correct. North Street. So you and I will get together and do this. So what's your time frame on this? Uh, well, it's got to go through the whole process because we had to start over. I, I realize. So right. it's if it gets adopted tonight, that's sixty days. Well, I know I know that, but are you, your time frame. I know Maybe. the statutory time frame. But are you going to adopt this tonight? I'm hoping to adopt this right. tonight with so, these changes. One technical thing. If, if you are, right now you have a current parking ordinance, you have a current traffic ordinance. This appears to combine the two. And there's already a section seven, which this is section four. Well, the way it was written on the, on the town website, article seven on the top, on the parking or the traffic ordinance, there already is an Article 7 on the existing. So that would be a conflict that means just a title that needs to be addressed. The, the new ordinance has been edit, you know, ed edited to get the article in the right number. Okay, but right now they're not. They're, Correct. Not, well, they're not on the existing ordinance on the website. Doesn't match oh, that's that's not, I'm just pointing it out, and I don't want this to run into a technical glitch. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So anything else on this parking ordinance? Beautiful. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see people back at meetings again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes, people. <laughs> Okay, other than that, is there any other open public comment? Okay. Yes. yes. Good stuff. I have a good stuff. Sunday, the pool had 90 guests. 90. I think that's the biggest number in some time. So that's pretty exciting. Anyone else with good stuff? Wait. Okay. Traffic and parking ordinance adoption. <laughs> Do you guys want to wait until the next meeting to have the new wording before we adopt so we can look at it? I, I think it's a bad idea to adopt it without the new verbiage. I am good with that. Everybody else okay with that? 
Fine. How long does it take to become effective after that? Is it 30 or 60? 60 days. 60 days. Okay. Uh, it allows someone to file a petition to take it to a special town meeting for a vote. Okay. They may have taken care of that for next. Yes. So we'll run into the start of school, but we can up with that. Yes, I think it'll be all right. Okay. So under highway, any other new or old business? What do we got, Stan? Anything? I've got nothing. Great. We'll go the highway. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you. We're kind of moving through fast so that we can go through this and do our executive session. So uh, Board of Water Commission, any other new or old business? Oh, yes, we have to go in and out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Move into the uh, Board of Water Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, Board of Water Commissioners, any new or old business? When are we going to start turning off? It's July. The uh, notices went in the mail today. Today? To the, to the, today? The top 10. I thought they were going in the first of the month. They went in the mail today, the top 10. Okay. They got 30 days to come in and make an agreement, pay up, make an agreement, and then we would be shutting them off. Okay, so today is the 12th, August 13th. We can start turning off, correct? Yeah. Okay. And hold you to that, Stanley. August 12th is 30 days. Yeah, so August 13th, we can turn off. I, I want to give them the date. <laughs> a little bit extra here because they'll be saying something. Okay. August 13th. Okay. Anyone else for water? I'll accept a motion to go out of water and into sewer. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any new or old business? The only thing I have is signature pages for the Vermont Municipal Bond Bank for your bond. So before anybody leaves, you approved it two meetings or three meetings ago. I got the signature pages. Okay. Okay. Let's put them right here so I'll remember. Okay. I will accept a motion to move out of Fort of Sewage into back into the regular meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Great. All right. So everybody, uh, Bruce still has them, but review the bills and sign the select board agenda uh, orders equaling $48,471.59. Uh, then we have the local hazard mitigation plan from the Rutland Regional Planning Commission, the agreement. There for your approval and signature. One change has been made which is adding a representative from the school district to the planning team. Correct. And you made that change, correct? Not in the year I've asked Stephanie to make the change in the year original. Okay. Do you want to sign this tonight or do you guys want to wait until the name has been added to sign? It's kind of a formality I'll sign tonight. Okay. Sure. So we'll sign at the end. Yep. Um, is that the one you want? I think it's just you signing it. Sign is it just me signing it? So. Yep, it's just me signing it. You or Stan? Yeah. I'll put that right there. Sorry. Okay. The ARPA certification that was done by Celia. Does anybody have any question on that? Did we schedule a meeting for that stand for the town? We need to have a public meeting at some point, but I think the discussion a couple of meetings ago with the board coming up with its list and then opening it up to the public. Right, the public. which I thought we did. We, yeah, we already yeah. did that. We did that quite a while. The sewer really can't be on that because it's not enough money, correct? I don't think it qualifies. It, it doesn't have to pay for the whole thing. Are you sure? It keeps yeah. changing. Like, like if, <laughs> it if it's going to cost us three hundred thousand, and we're going to get a hundred thousand, we can apply that to it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. as long as you're not using it to reduce a bond that you're doing, it, right? Using it. Yeah. Exactly. 
Exactly. All right. So I've got fifty thousand dollars worth of equipment. Yes, he does have some equipment. So when would you guys like to have that public meeting? August. Can we do it at the next select board meeting, the next regular meeting? Oh yeah. Well, you've got quite a bit of time to submit your your wish list. Right, but I would like to to do this since we're getting a new town manager, you're going on vacation. So let's I don't make, know if you need, do you need more time for a public meeting uh, for that purpose? Not a public meeting. No. Here, yes, but no. A public meeting. So then it, let's, let's do the ARPA public meeting at the next select board meeting, which is July 26th. 26. I can't believe I pulled that out. <laughs> Is everybody okay with that? Fine, sure. Excellent. So seven twenty-six, and we'll just do it right at the beginning of the meeting, six p.m. Okay. So moving on to park and rep committee appointments, uh, we have uh, requests from Robert and Angela Oberg to join the rep committee, the rep board. Move to approve. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Welcome, Robert and Angela, to the rec board. <laughs> okay. Zoning administrator. So we have an applicant for the zoning administrator, um, which I'd like to uh, recommend that we go back to town employee. And because then executive session, executive session that well, I didn't know if that's what you were referring. No, because currently the zoning administrator we contracted somebody, and so they had to have a liability insurance. I would like to see, see since as a town person going back to a town, and then the town would have that liability insurance because it wouldn't be financially responsible for him to get paid this much and pay out this much because this isn't really his business. It was a business before. So I'm recommending to the board that we go back to the zoning administrator or making the zoning administrator a town employee, which he knows that there would be no benefits because it's as needed. Well, is that, isn't there, is our health officer the same way? Health officer is a stipend. Yeah. And it's, right, it's but, classified as, well, the health right. officer is a state, appointed by the state. Okay. We so I'm just, we, I'm just talking insurance wise. So it's not the same. Wasn't there a town that had a problem and they got rid of the problem by paying a stipend to the person? like, you know, 25 or $50, and that was made him uh, a town employee. So, so they could be speak. injured. I think that came up in uh, something with the, I'm trying to think, with the regional planning, uh, they, they took care of that problem by paying them, you know, Twenty-five or fifty dollars right. stipend, and in the, that qualified them. In the past, the zoning administrator has been a town employee before. Mm -mm. No, Bob Cruz was zoning administrator for a number of years. He took the he fees. fees. He paid all of the expenses and took the fees. The only thing he were paying out of that out of the town budget was his social security, which we had our share of the social security. So he was, he did he didn't have insurance. No, he was covered under town. He, I mean, he was you know under the town, but he was the checks came from the town to pay, but it was but it right. was fees. I think the decision that was made when we went to a contract would be an, an hourly rate basis. Uh, I think what Kerry uh, is talking about is putting on the payroll and uh, with no benefits because it's a part time job. Covers and, the whole situation and only paid when they're doing the job. Yeah, I'll turn in a timesheet just like uh, 
Everybody else, right. the other employee does. Okay. The, the job description is, you know, one, one planning commission meeting per month. So there's, there's a couple hours right there. Right. But, but when we only see uh, 10 or 12 permits during a year, uh, and it only takes them, you know, an hour or two to, to take care of. Right. Uh, so, so, uh, last year, we paid Erica a thousand dollars for you. She was on that same basis. She, she was on a contract, contract basis. Right. But she was only paid, she was paid at a flat rate? She, flat, uh, no, per hour rate. Per hour rate. Per hour. So it's the same thing? Yes. Only, okay. She, she was employed. Same way we do with the, with the uh, list of the assessor. Right. An hourly rate. Okay. The zoning administrator attends every planning commission meeting mm -hmm. and part of the planning commission. I think they should, uh, at least the chairman of the planning commission should be involved. In he was. You okay there? Yes. Okay. Yes. We, we emailed. It was Stan, Dick, and I, and Dick did not have a problem. Okay. Good. No. You didn't raise any objections. Correct. We absolutely did do that. <laughs> What's his hourly rate? What do you want? It has an hourly rate? Yes. Well, I mean, should we talk about this in executive session or? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I mean, it, well, you can set it it's a town. Know. It's a town. Set it. Right. It's everybody's. Set it. I'm, I'm just checking. I'm, yeah. No, so it's fine. We can set the rate. Well, I think, it, I mean, we haven't even talked about hiring them. Or, well, I mean, this is the first week. Got it. You know what I mean? So, so I don't you know, know if you want to talk about that. One just well, go with the only outfit we have. We can do it however you guys please, but rate is public. We can go into an executive right. session and no. then make an announcement after about rate. No, I'm fine. I, I don't I don't have any objection no. to how you guys want to roll with it. And the planning commission was okay with this individual. Okay. Yes. So we'll, we'll put that as part of the executive session at the end. I'd like to get an hourly rate from him for uh, being a contractor and being a town employee. Okay. Well, being a contractor, he would need to, that's the problem. The liability insurance is really high for what we're asking. Uh, Erica didn't charge us that much. But she was a business, so she already had that insurance. He would have to go purchase that insurance. And he looked into purchasing that insurance, which made it not feasible for him to do this because it would be more than what he would be paying. More expensive, yeah. Well, I say whether it's him or anybody else should obviously be covered under our insurance because nobody's going to be able to, as a solo person, afford liability insurance. Yeah. That's what... Okay. How about an hourly rate then? Okay. So let's, um, how many permits do we have sitting, waiting for somebody to go do it? Did we, you do we, them? We have one permit waiting. We have two complaints, one complaint waiting for a zoning administrator. So when we have the special meeting on the 19th, can we discuss the zoning administrator? Can we have that quick of a turnaround? Can we, like, we're discussing wage? No. Okay. We can reach out to this person no, and find no, their wage. The, the current permit is 30 days after the filing of the application with the payment of the fee, which has been done, it automatically is approved. Okay. This, this is not a difficult permit to do. Okay. This is a shed on a lot that has all the setbacks in the world. It's an easy yes. Okay. So if we're if we're approving him and we know the rate, why can't we just approve it tonight? Well, that's what I'm thinking. It's just right? the, the the rate. Yeah, I would. I mean, think unless somebody could. has problems. I thought Erica was going to continue until we got somebody. No, she oh. will continue. To, she said she would continue to come to meetings and take minutes, but she didn't want to do the quote permitting process. Okay. Okay, let's move forward then. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think 20 an hour? 18 an hour? 
Well, let's, uh, what do our vote people get paid? Not 20 an hour, I don't believe. They're just under, they're 18 something. So 18? Yes. 15, he's part time. Well, we yeah. kind of do need somebody to do it, though. <laughs> have to make it worth somebody's while as well. Yeah, but we got people that have been here how many years? <laughs> but you can't base it like that because that's not how wages are based. <laughs> I mean. Well, you said this is just a part-time job for them. What are you guessing, Stan? Like tops? You know, we got guys who call in for five dollars, five hours a month. If it's that, yeah, it's probably most. They say two hours are automatic, and the two half hours, for, right? Because the only ministry that does permitted call. Yeah. Other than that, the time to, to do a permit to review it, look at the ordinance, look at the setbacks, be sure that it complies with everything. If it does, it's approved. If it's not, it's denied, and then it goes. Four variants, which goes back to the board again. I'd like to give them 15 for a probationary period, at least, see how this works out. We do that when we hire our road employees. Not at 15, though. We're not hiring it back right now. I would say $20. He's got to come to. Planning Commission meetings. Some of our road guys don't get paid then. It's not the same as a road. He has to. But your he has is not. These guys go on snowy nights all night. They go on sewer breaks. Yes, but wait around in people's sewer. Like knowing zoning, knowing he doesn't. He doesn't know any of it. That's why you should be on probation for a while here. We can wind up in court over some of these if it's uh, the permits decided wrong. How about 17? Do you want to split the difference with 17? I can live with that. And a probationary period mm -hmm. of six months. Well, I think it's hard to put a probationary period on such a yeah. on-call thing. I mean, he could have two things in six months. So putting a probationary period on it is kind of... I, I, you know, but I don't want to wind up in court because... I don't think we're going to wind up in court. Well, Stan, most often, too, some of the stuff that he's dealing with, he's going to run by you, right, Correct. too, and stuff? And the planning commission. Run by Dick. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Running it by... He would run by the chair of the planning commission, right. not by me. If he's going to run it by Dick first. That's what I would recommend uh, if he run by Dick. But that wasn't the way it was in the past, but... Well, and he's new to that, so I think that that's... So... Um, we need a motion for hiring and at the rate. So moved. What are you moving? We're hiring moving to Mr. Oberg at $7 yeah, an hour for the yeah. zoning administrative position for the town of Brock. Yeah. And I mean, just to sure. clarify, I think maybe alleviate Tom's concerns, especially a part-time employee serves at the pleasure of the board. If yeah. there was an issue, we could, I mean, there's not a contractual obligation to continue. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. so I'll second that motion. All right, yeah. all in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? No. Motion carries. Perfect, thank you. Animal control ordinance, we have a letter from a resident wanting to add cats to our animal control ordinance. I make a motion we not add cats to our I second it. All in favor? Uh, Anyone opposed? Um, I think this is for our information. This is the market on West Street tax stabilization agreement. And I do want to repeat that Ben has recused himself from this discussion. Thank you. And there's a letter from Alan with it. Yeah.
And I would actually like to leave the room just to. Okay. Absolutely. Essentially, what Alan was saying is the agreement is terminated. Right. And we, and we can go back and, and collect. Be like yeah. three years, which is done, plus the 18% interest. It would go out as a separate bill for the backward because it's too late to get it into the current. Right. Bill. But it would be a lien on the property to cover it. Okay. Because what town is talking right. about. Okay. Is somebody trying to get in? Because somebody's calling the office. I just want to make sure. Nobody's trying to get in. Okay. Keith Whitcomb is your reporter. Yes. Yeah. I'm just because somebody's calling, I'm making sure nobody's trying to like join. Well, Sometimes that's the case. We have we ever get a dollar or not? I didn't. No, we don't figure it out. Because it goes a percentage for five years. Right, period. right. So I didn't know if they already calculated it. Not that I know of. Okay. What would you guys like to do? Stan, Celia hasn't calculated this out, what they owe, has she? Mm -hmm. Has Celia calculated what they owe? No. Do you guys want to put it on the next agenda with what it would be for, or do you want to just make a, no? Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I don't. Ever. I just want to make a decision. Because I just would state that it is terminated. It is terminated. Right. Yeah. Therefore, following up on Alan's letter is that, yeah. Right. We need to figure out okay. what, what her invoice is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the lead amount is need to put a lead on. All right. So what's the pleasure of the board? Well, well that legal. is terminated. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we have a legal contract with them, so they signed off on so we would like to proceed I would. collecting what needs to are okay. So does somebody want to make a motion to that? I did. Somebody second. A second. All right, all in favor. Aye. Anyone opposed? Did somebody verbalize what that motion said? No. The motion is that we, um, that what I understand, because what I just said is that we, the contract is null and void, and that we, what was the word I used? You should say that you're putting a lien on the property. Correct. That, that's what the motion should say. The Thank you. Should okay. say Thank you. Okay. So let's make that motion. Make, well, we made the motion that the agreement um, for the tax stabilization was terminated. Correct. And we will be sending an invoice and placing a lien on the market. All right. Anybody want to second that? Is that good? Yes. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Um, Anyone opposed? <laughs> Sweet. Lauren to Ben. Sheriff you. report. Anybody have any questions? Uh, I, I'm still just an FYI. I'm still not happy that there's only six tickets when we have specifically asked him and speeding is a problem in town. We have specifically asked twice now. This would be the third time. They moved the sign. They did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've seen it several times. Sure. Yeah, it's six tickets, zero warnings. So I would like to see that number higher. Sam, will you please uh, touch base with them? Say we expect to see at least 15 next. Yes, next absolutely. Yes. I'm not driving into town. <laughs> 15 of them. I don't think six is bad for a town our size. I think two week period. I think it's, it's especially the amount of speeding that's going on. I think it's no. I think it needs to be a bit higher. I think people need to get the impression that they're it's a present. Go ahead. Can we still like vlog people? Do we what? Good. <laughs> Vlogging? No, we do not vlog. We're looking, we're looking for a vlogger. Uh, yes. Are you interested? In <laughs> you can only vlog under ten hours. <laughs> Independent contract. <laughs> not covered by insurance. Wow. All right. All right. Is there any other new or old business for the board? The FYI, the difference between last year and this year's taxes 
Oh. Look at the bottom, $100,000 house, the town tax is 1,000 bucks last year, it was 1,071, now it's 1,061. And the education tax was 1,500, and now it's 1,445. So total went down about uh, seventy dollars Wow, that's good. I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I'm good with that. All right. I will accept a motion to go into executive session for personnel. We will be interviewing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed?